in the Medusa state. Okay, so we are in phylum Cnidaria. These are jellyfish, sea anemones, corals, sea fans, sea whips, hydroids. Okay, the Portuguese man of war is a type of hydroid. So this picture right here, bottom left, the big purple thing, that's a sea fan. Okay, here's a hydroid, another type of hydroid. Up close look of coral, and then here's a sea whip up here. Okay, so lots of different kinds of things, plus jellyfish and anemones that are found in phylum Nidaria. Okay, so Nidarians are soft-bodied creatures. Okay, so soft-bodied creatures. How many of you have ever touched like the bell of a jellyfish or touched like a sea anemone? Okay, yeah, they're, they're soft, they're kind of squishy, right? So they're soft-bodied animals, they don't have any bones, okay? Um, and they are radially symmetric. What does radially symmetric mean? Good. So you can divide it more than one way and still get mirror images, right? So they're radially symmetric, and they have tissue layers. So sponges only had a cellular level of organization, right? They just had different kinds of cells. Um, jellyfish, cnidarians, have tissue layers. So they actually have different kinds of tissue. They have the endoderm, the ectoderm, and then the mesoglea, which is in between the two. So the endoderm is the innermost lining of the body, okay, and that will surround this thing that we'll talk about, which that is called the gastrovascular cavity, which is where all their digestion takes place. So the endoderm's on the inside. Um, the ectoderm is the outside, that's the side that you would like touch, okay, if you ever touched a jellyfish or a sea anemone. And then in between the two, you have the stuff that's called mesoglea, okay, that's like the jelly-like stuff. That's what gives the jellyfish their jellyfish name, okay, because it's got this like jelly-like consistency, okay. So mesoglea in the middle. Um, Cnidarians are arranged where they have their mouth in the middle, um, and then they've got tentacles that surround that mouth that have stinging cells on them. And they have two phases of life, okay, or two um, like body forms that you can find them in. They have a polyp and a medusa stage, okay, and we'll look at what those look like. And they do have different tissues. Okay, so here's your polyp and your medusa stage. Um, the polyp is like your sea anemone that's here on the left. It's an attached form, okay, so it's sessile. For the most part, it doesn't move, all right? Um, and so in a polyp, it's got a basal disc at the bottom that's attached and like sections to the surface, and the mouth faces upward and then the tentacles surround the mouth. In the medusa phase, okay, that's over here on the right, um, it's not attached, it's mobile, okay? This is a plankton stage right, because it can't swim against the current. Um, and so the mouth faces downward and then the tentacles surround the mouth um, facing downward. So polyps are normally attached, I say normally attached because they can move if they really, really, really want to. Okay, so um, let's watch. No, so this, in, in this, the starfish is actually trying to eat, there we go. The starfish is actually trying to like eat the, jelly, the sea anemone. So the sea anemone is not too happy about it. So he's trying to sting the sea star. Yeah. He's trying to the star, it's moving slowly. Yes, very slowly. Okay, and so, okay, you're not gonna leave me alone? Well, I'm just gonna swim away. <laughs> yeah. So, just swims away. Yeah. Hey, it's not gonna swim very well, but at least it can get up and get away if it needs to. So. Um, no, it's actually like lifting itself up and moving itself away. Does that will eventually become the jellyfish? Um, no. Here. Okay. So, um, this is your life cycle of a jellyfish. Yeah. Okay. So, you've got, like, you get your little larva that settles down and becomes a little polyp. Okay. This is like a small polyp. Okay. okay? Oh. Little polyp, and then this polyp will divide asexually and then create jellyfish. This is the sexually mature phase where they will produce eggs and sperm to create the larva. 
and then create these little polyps. Sea anemones, they're much bigger. They're actually like, they're gonna stay a sea anemone. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna become a jellyfish. So, okay. So here's your different tissue layers. Um, both of these body forms have this thing that's called a gastrovascular cavity. Okay, and um, that's where all the digestion of the jellyfish or sea anemone is going to take place. Um, and so this gastrovascular cavity only has one opening, okay, the mouth. So when they capture food and they bring the food into their mouth and they digest it in that gastrovascular cavity, if there's any waste product, those waste products exit out the same way. Okay? So any waste products also leave through the mouth. One opening into the gastrovascular cavity. Um, so that's what it looks like. The yellow part is the gastrovascular cavity. All right, so we're going to look at the different classes of Nigerians, and then we're going to talk about how Nigerians carry out all of those essential functions that we've been so eager to talk about. Um, so the first class of Nigerians is hydrozoa. Okay. These are mostly polyps. Um, if they do have a medusa stage, but um, that's very, very short. They're typically just polyps. Um, and actually, they live in these things called colonies. Do you guys know what a colony of animals is? A group, a group of animals okay, that are all living together. And each of them is performing like specific functions to keep the whole group alive. Okay, So the polyps are specialized a lot of times to keep um, the whole animal alive. They don't have to be specialized, but they can be like um, the Portuguese man of war. So the Portuguese man of war is actually not a jellyfish, it's a hydroid. And you know the form that you see with like the thing that floats on the surface of the water and then all the tentacles hanging down? Those are actually, that's actually its polyp stage. Okay, so what that is, is that's actually a bunch of animals that are living together in a colony. So you have one polyp that's actually specialized to become the float of that animal, that thing, that big bubble that keeps it up at the surface. You've got other um, polyps that are specialized to hang down and be the feeding tentacles, and you've got other ones that are specialized to be the reproductive tentacles. So the, that Portuguese man of war is actually a bunch of animals all living together, which is kind of cool. So it's a hydroid. Here's your, a little picture of a mini hydroid. This is a hydra. This is a freshwater species of hydroid. Um, so that's what it looks like, little polyp stage. Skiphozoans. Okay, those are jellyfish. Okay, that's what you, all jellyfish are skiphozoans, real jellyfish, true jellies. Um, the medusa is the dominant stage of life, so that's the part that you see that you think of when you think of a jellyfish, but they do have a very, very short polyp stage uh, that then becomes the medusa. All right, you've got anthozoans, these are sea anemones and corals. Okay, so you've got your picture of your sea anemone. Um, and Sea anemones, okay, they're kind of cool. They have symbiotic relationships with lots of different things, like you know your Nemo's of the world. Um, they do not have a Medusa stage, so sea anemones do not eventually become some sort of Medusa stage. Um, and the difference, one of the differences between like sea anemones and corals, um, sea anemones don't secrete like a protective cup for themselves to sit in, whereas corals do. Um, so the actual skeleton of the coral, of a coral colony, is these little protective cups that these little individual polyps all secrete. Okay, so a coral, this piece, the coral that I'm holding in my hands, this is the skeleton of the coral. Okay, this would be a colony of animals. Okay, and so I'll pass it around so you can see, but there's a bunch of little holes in here. Okay, each of those little holes, that's where one little polyp of the coral would sit. Okay, um, and that little cup that it's sitting in, that's its little protective thing that it secretes and sits inside of. Um, and so as it secretes that and it grows, it creates these big lovely coral colonies, creates an entire ecosystem for other animals to live in. So be careful, please. You can pass it around and look at it. So each of those little holes is going to be a individual animal. Okay, and then cubozoa are box jellies. Um, and we'll talk a lot about box jellies, but there's a picture of one so you can see what they look like. So, lots more to come on that.